Here is one thing that always happens. When groups of people exist together, their beliefs get mixed together into some other version of the belief. So Jews were living among Greeks. Jewish traditional faith did not have the idea of a fiery eternal lake of fire called hell. Jewish idea of hell was something quite different, something related to the soul disappearing at some point if not properly buried. But Greeks had beliefs about the underworld, a fiery place where souls were tortured, and Hades was the king or the ruler of this underworld. This sounds similar to a Satan character or the devil from the Bible, who is responsible for souls going to hell and being tortured there. And hell is pictured as the fiery lake. Also, sometimes Satan is pictured as a monster with many heads. Well, in this picture, the king of Hades has a pet which looks like that. So in this case, it's like the two ideas got mixed up and Satan began to be pictured as this monster, but also as the ruler of hell. So, at one point, these creatures were separate, but later, with time, they became one and the same. According to Greek beliefs, King of Hades was in control of fame and fortune. So the idea of making a deal with the devil and becoming rich evolved from this, this Greek belief. Well, what is Christianity and how did it come to be? There was a man named Jesus, or maybe he was called by a different name in reality. He brought reforms to traditional Jewish beliefs. And so the followers of Jesus were something like reformed Jews. And then after Jesus' death and after some time passed, uh, things evolved, ideas from Greek beliefs got added to the reformed Jewish beliefs, and so Christianity was born. So this modified version of Jewish beliefs mixed together with some elements from Greek beliefs plus some new things became known as Christianity. Here is another idea from Greek mythology which found its place within Christianity. Christianity refers to the battle between God and Satan. Well, in Greek beliefs there was a battle between Zeus, considered the most powerful of the gods, and this monster, some sort of a dragon. And at the end Zeus bound this monster somewhere under the earth. So this element sounds similar to God binding Satan in the abyss, some big hole somewhere, probably under the earth too. And also Satan is being perceived as a monster or a dragon with whom God is fighting. And some Christians for some reason believe that hell may be under the earth and that Satan is there too. So I bet this superstition somehow came from this story about Zeus binding the monster under the earth. Stories have their way of morphing and slipping into surrounding beliefs. And this is what happened to Jewish Greek beliefs, how they gave birth to Christianity. And this is how Christianity is now borrowing some ideas from spiritualism and is morphing into a new branch of Christianity called New Age, to name just one. God of Christianity used to be seen as a king, someone to be afraid of, someone to tremble before. When people go into the temple or the church, they had an idea that they should be quiet because this is a sacred place and God may punish people for doing something out of line. But the God of new form of Christianity is more like a pal because people don't have kings anymore and they don't really go for that concept of trembling before God. People are embracing their identity as being a part of God and boldly come to the throne of God to borrow to borrow Paul's terms. And in fact, Jesus and Paul both encouraged this kind of behavior in the early days of this new faith. In fact, Jesus and Paul both encouraged this kind of behavior in the early days of this new faith. Both Jesus and Paul were saying that we can come boldly to the throne of God, we are a part of God, God lives in us, now we are holy, we don't have to be afraid anymore. We can boldly enter into the Holy of Holies 
and you don't even have to go to a temple to pray to God because God lives in you and Jesus said you're my friends so this idea was long overdue but because people were still under a spell of the old religions where you had to tremble before God they were still kind of under inertia they were still holding on to those things but finally after a long time has passed finally those things fell away and now people are embracing that they are God they are part of God and God is their friend their pal and they don't need to be scared anymore they can just embrace their new powers and do miracles command in the name of God and even Jesus said even before that you can do more than me so Jesus was not trying to say that he was bigger and better he was in fact saying the opposite that I'm just like you and Paul said that Jesus is one of our brothers so these ideas were here 2000 years ago but only now people are finally starting to accept them as the truth all this is happening because Christianity just like any other belief in the world is subject to the same laws of nature beliefs get modified by current age and current beliefs.